Yes, it's the Market Sniper back at you after a short break. Yes, glad to be with you, glad to be with you. We're going to be talking about the great market of silver. Silvery threads in the wind. We're going to talk about that and why a seminal moment has just happened. I will show you a short, brief little excerpt of um, a slightly longer form uh, update I gave to our premium community today around why Today could be the day. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Normally I say, today's never just the day. Forget it. You always think right now is the moment. But actually, right now is the moment. Uh, and sometimes that happens. So I'll be explaining why I say that. In one of the most important aspects and a part of a chart that I have referred to continually since, oh, uh, well, decades, but very intensely in all my silver and gold updates that I have been making, particularly in the last year and a half. That's right, over a year and a half. I have been highlighting it. We'll be looking at that chart. Why I say right now today, the key moment that I've been waiting for, for probably this big head and shoulders on the gold silver ratio, that is multi-decade uh, structure. And it has just rolled, in my opinion, begun the roll for a down leg that will take the gold silver ratio to highlights real quickly in the beginning to get it all while you hit the likes. Don't forget to share um, when you hit the likes for us. Um, yes, 65 for the neckline. And then after a short period of bouncing around on the neckline, short, medium, it might be medium long, who knows, a further major sell off that's going to take you to. The multiples that will be around the 30s. Uh, that's right, you heard me right. In gold silver ratio valuation, all at the same time that gold will be going up, 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 up. That is going to be happening on the gold silver ratio. What does that mean for silver? Strong like oxen, I tell you. Strong like oxen, you will feel the pool. That is right. Uh, so we're going to be talking about this and why as I say, in this particular excerpt that I'll play, maybe a small segment of, let's, let's have a little listen before we go straight to the charts. What we said this morning to our premium community. Yes, here he is. <laughs> what other rules do you get on HBF method? That's key bangles, facing ascending grind lines, or any other grind lines for that matter, around a scenario cost where we are anticipating and high impulsive, high volatility events. What do we say? So you need to think all these rules through. What should I be doing right now? What did I say? I said, drop time frames and watch for fractal structures at the key level that we are now at. Gifts will come to you of great order of magnitude with multiplier stop losses that will stand even on very low time frames that will break you into sizable trades. Does he say that? Does he does. Or is he bullshitting? He says it. He says it. So what do you have? You have this. And your little flat top structure there that actually has a little bit of a flag loses whiff about it. Could it be a little upside pop first? Yes. And you know what? If you're wrong, you eat it. You eat your loss because you understand money management and you don't throw your entire life savings at it because the multiple makes you the money. The multiple makes you the money. The tightness of that squeeze, you go in. Uh, the multiple of the move that I am introducing you in, potentially, not long after my premium viewers, sometime after, because the silver market has now moved and you don't get to buy when they buy, but not long after, as a free view member for hitting the like button right now on, on our YouTube and giving it a share and fooling the algorithm, you will make on the multiple. In other words, if this triggering event on the gold silver ratio, and that was this morning, uh, when I was looking at it, we've just had jolts numbers come in. We'll go into the fundamentals. Fundamentals. We are talking about fractals, small technicals, inside medium sized technicals, inside large technicals, inside a mega head and shoulder macro technicals, stacking patterns on multitudes of 
timeframes for major huge targets with exceptionally small risk. You take the smallest fractals risk and you take the biggest patterns target. We combine it all and we give you the highest risk reward ratio trades right here on this channel. That's right. He paused for dramatic effect there. Um, that was what we were discussing. We go into a lot more detail. How is that gold-silver ratio looking right now? Let's take you in to the live charts and see exactly what has been going on. Whoop! There it is. That's right, my friends. The journey has begun. The great red dashed line for regular viewers of this channel that will know that we have literally scenario cast this entire movement on the gold silver ratio as your core indicator as to why hear me now as to why you will get the macro move beginning and we have told you fundamentally we're going to go into the jolts numbers and the consumer numbers and the fact that non-farm payrolls live trading with me on friday non-farm payrolls labor number coming friday adp number tomorrow red hot data in today which will be looking your fundamentals macro technical right to micro technical looking at that chart right now seasonality that we have been telling you about on this channel last week of august first week of september will be the move 30 years of experience that on 2009 called the breakout that said you will never trade below a thousand dollars again on the 2nd of September 2009, in the absolute height of pure misery where everyone saw everything going down. Gold to the moon. It ran, my friends, to 1927 in short supply. As part of a major overperformance upside HVFs that it had been winding up and set up for which the sell-off in the subprime sell-off of uh, 2007 8 and the subsequent bounce was part of the amplitude of the overall pattern. That's right, that structure that I've shown you before so many times at that thousand dollar where you'd only trade once above it, not for long, at about 1032 and we're winding up. It was the last time you ever bought gold for less than a thousand dollars. And not even the bear market that came after the 1900 ever bought you three digit gold again. So listen now, because we have track record. Listen now clearly, because we're telling you something that we think is big. And we don't put a carry on like this every goddamn day. And so you are going to be listening to this roughly 12 hours, maybe if you watch the YouTube as soon as it's up, maybe uh, 24 if you're not uh, hours later than my community who were in earlier and cheaper than you and have been watching closer. The triggering event of what will probably be a move first down to 65. We're on the one hour right now on the gold silver ratio. We will be showing you the silver and gold in due course. But all your work is done here. All your work is done here in the relationship between the two. You see, people are lazy. They want to make money. So they're looking at gold, dollar, silver, dollar. The actual magic is in the 360 degree analysis which sees relative value assessments take place, which saw us put you in long platinum short palladium while palladium has sold off. That has seen us tell you that this dotted red line, which I will now show you again on a far bigger time frame, all the way back up as potential right shoulder. We are now on the daily. That is the break that is taking. Looks very small and not particularly special to many of you. You can see that there has been to some degree a fair amount of squaring up and base uh, control here for quite a reasonable period since May roughly over there. You can see the tag for neckline right down here at 65 and as we said, the slap in the face and then the subsequent three impulses of reaction. One, two, slightly complex on the two there, fast up, 
top out and turn down. We were talking about this rollover inside our community and how the moment is coming and it needs to fall fast to be compliant to our expectation to which it duly obliged and fell whoosh, fast, head off. That's right. And so it did. And so it did. And now you are here. Now you are here. And what looks innocuous and small is the beginning of little pippy stories that turn into big pippy stories, my friend. And let's take you to the fundamental information that came in today, not forgetting the main event of this month, which happens to be the end of the summer month with the return to deaths of the Northern Hemisphere, with all the woe that needs to be dealt with, and all the momentum, all the debt, and all the great pains that must be dealt with that are now sitting for the second half of the year post the summer holiday. What happened on the data? Here we go into the data for Tuesday, you will see that I've filtered this for red letter days only and it is an intense week for data. That is why you've been sitting watching paint dry. You've said, where's the market sniper? He don't love me no more. He don't want to talk to me no more because it's paint dry season until it suddenly isn't. And when it suddenly isn't, it gets unruly, volatile, kind of quick. And before then, it gets super boring. And that's when we get interesting. We get really interested. We have been watching like hawks. So you had in the data today. CB consumer confidence. I had a bit of fun with this one. You are a consumer. The city of London that owns Vanguard and State Street, which owns BlackRock, which owns most of JP Morgan, that owns the Fed, uh, yes, and Goldman Sachs and all the others that all own bits and pieces, that has the old mercantilist psychopath families behind them, right at the back of the city of London, right back there with their private eyes in Mossad in Israel and MI5 and MI6 being controlled. All of those people that own the Fed and are controlling the Fed, they think you're a consumer. Consumer. Must eat locust consumer. From now on, good consumer eat locust, no drive car. Yes, be a good consumer. Eat your locust. Hence the phrase useless eaters, of course, which he absolutely never said and must be denied. It's a fake conspiracy theory. Okay. Okay. Anyway, I sense I digress. You are a consumer and you are not consuming. The economic confidence is we expect 116 and you give 106. Shock horror. The number is under. Whoever thunk it? Who's been telling you it's weaker than they're stating? Who's been telling you they're absolutely telling you porky pies with fake labor statistics? Who's been saying it's a lot softer? And in spite of it being a lot softer, they're going to pretend it's not so bad so that they can keep allowing the rates to climb because they might like a little rate spike to shake you out of your little house. And guess who will be there? The City of London's proxies there to help there to buy out and be a buyer of last resort so that you can avoid your bankruptcy and become a tenant in your own home via the, the expedient and great service provided by State Street, Vanguard and BlackRock. That's right, friends. Coming soon, following the interest rate spike as part of devaluing the debt that they've created, that they've then stolen, used laundered, done whatever via the various upper Israel, Ukraine, uh, you know, whatever they're doing and how they're doing it. But a bit of people stealing here, a bit of organ uh, trade there. Anyway, Jolt's job openings, Jolt's job openings, 8.83 instead of 9.49. Doesn't matter what that number is. It's a garbage number in my view, in most likelihoods. However, it's more about how much garbage are they being able to lie to you about versus how much they actually can get away with versus what they actually expect in the garbage number and they even undershooting the garbage number expectation. So I wouldn't over fascinate by understanding the minutiae of the jolt job opening. The key point is it's coming in unders, under, under, lower. And in a little bit of a crypto news flash for you, even though you may not be crypto peeps, 
guess who got approved their potential well they won their lawsuit which could lay the pathway for grayscale that's right to get approved for their etf so grayscale of BT, uh, btf fame btc uh, etf fame have won their lawsuit so bitcoin got a tiny jolt and it seemed to coincide with the silver getting its move and we haven't looked at the chart for silver yet have we now we haven't we're still reminding you of the gold silver ratio chart but we're doing a bit of funny mentals first so this is the data that came in and this is what's still to come in so adp is your practice proxy number tomorrow where they expect 194 that is their guesstimate proxy number for non-farm that is a payrolls company adp that does quite a large part of the economy uh, but it might have you know a bit weighted in different service sectors than the aggregate for the total economy but gives a guide uh, and i expect undershoot and then we get the big one on friday which you can join us to do yes live trading day with yours truly we'll be at our entertaining best plus we'll be looking for actual trades to take remember key market directions take place and begin their move look into the eyes look into the eyes fantasize that's right they start to happen as a result of new information that is deemed seminal it can cause an inflection and i'm guessing that even though we've had a little pippy out the bottom we could even do a return move tomorrow and thursday but guess what i think happens on friday the full puke on the gold silver ratio and the journey begins and if it doesn't happen on friday sometimes there's a delayed reaction but let me tell you i'm thinking there'll be a bit of fear i'm thinking there'll be a bit of fear there'll be a bit of desire for gold and silver what will probably mean the expectation again of rate cuts that things are weak or something is battling who knows who knows who knows uh one of these days gold and silver will not even need the notion of a rate cut it will go up because it is true money the only true money my friends in a world of phony fiat that's right you have a discount window we have a pure gold link below and a bullion vault for you to buy your internet gold that you can flip into physical later right now in the youtube below you can say dollar cost averaging every month anywhere in the world anywhere in the world you can have it delivered to your door the guys will talk to you on the phone they're not going to hide behind an internet order form they're awesome at pure gold book them i buy there none of these places that i've mentioned do i not use myself personally in other words i have my own accounts and we have a community full of people and by the way if something really disorderly happened we would actually have a bit of cloud to make sure that it got fixed up uh were you to report it to us so grab the links below pure silver and gold to be bought anyway so big big data still to come on friday which will be the big one and i wonder what's the number they're expecting let's tidy our face a little bit unemployment rate is 3.5 non-farm employment change number is a 169 which is actually rather low number it's not a particularly high number for the typical birth date fake number generator that it generates well uh my expectation is you will meet or undershoot uh that number to the downside with the emphasis more on the undershoot side on what's already a lower than typical number uh in that uh environment of expectations average hourly earnings are expected to drop from what they were last month to 0.3 uh, again i'm on meet or undershoot wow that's not very nice is it <laughs> your salaries not going up the cpi keeps going down but the cost of living goes up as they say as they say as they say yes indeed ah statistics yeah lies damn lies and statistics okay let's go back to the charts back to the charts for the gold silver ratio so that is the beginning of a small move it's a small little break of the ice you can rally back you may not have missed that much you may get a little bit of a pullback on silver uh, possibly i'm not saying you will i'm saying it could it could it could happen uh, but the next major move of real momentum to the downside what was that head and shoulder i was talking about let's go right up to the monthly let's string you out good and proper on the monthly there you go there you go there you go 32.8 and what do you think gold will be 
when silver turns into a 32.8. Currently, by the way, currently, by the way, you are only just below 80 at 78. You need 78 ounces of silver in an environment where they found at the rate of 8 ounces to 1. You currently need 78 to secure that single ounce of gold. That is true. Plus, fundamental news just in off the Twitter sphere. Fundamental news on the silver space. Let's give you the fundamental news straight out from the Twitter sphere on the silver space. That one. <laughs> Click the right link, Dilbert. Bob Coleman. Thank you, Bob. Give him a follow. Silver alert. He screams in an alarming fashion, like a mere cat on an anthill. He stands and alerts all of us. Something strange has just happened with the SLV ETF. You know that fake paper silver instrument where they redivert people that would be buying physical, the stupid ones, into fake, phony, non really backed ETF so that they. Take some of that demand away and feed them foobar nonsense. That's right. Well, the shares available to borrow in the silver ETF, I'm assuming people borrow because they're typically short, uh, this started to occur, uh, I've, I've just collapsed in number. This started to occur as SLV shares outstanding went to the lowest levels of 2023 last week. We've been waiting for this cash. You see, the value of scenario casting and, and, and actually knowing what you want is as it keeps coming to you, and we've updated over the last 18 months repeatedly about the fact that it will eventually come. Uh, and we sound like uh, the man who cries wolf because we say it's coming, it will come, uh, but it's not here yet. That's the difference. We don't say every time it's about a moon. It's about a moon today. Um, we, we have often said it's uh, looking like it'll go down a bit first. Uh, now this moment is truly, truly coming and now the news starts to hit. Because people are getting back to the desk and information is being sought again and the wheels of industry are turning again and the jibber jabber is carrying on. And what are we finding? The started to occur. Silver shares outstanding went to the lowest level of 2023 last week. In July, there were as much as 8 million shares to borrow each day. In August, there were about 4 million. That is a 50% reduction. Uh, however, starting Friday, the 25th, uh, the shares available to borrow collapsed to half a million? Half a million? From four million from eight million? That is uh, looking like we're going to have ourselves a little bit of a short squeeze. Yes, indeed. Similarly, don't forget, anybody who is short, SLV, A, cannot borrow more to push the price down because less is available, and B, We'll have to scurry and cover if we get any form of a short squeeze, meaning that there will be additional buying pressure apart from the bulls just to close heavily hemorrhaging losing positions were that situation to occur. Similar levels where we saw the silver price lows in September last year. Seasonality, seasonality. What have I said? What have I said? What have I said? would expect the borrow fee rate to start spiking. What does that mean? You want to borrow to sell short, the cost of your leverage will go up. And if you already have positions, it's going to get more expensive to maintain, especially if that price starts moving against you. Then you're getting kicked in the arse in two different parts of the arse at the same time. Very unpleasant. Um, would expect the borrow fee rate to start spiking. If it does, could be witnessing a possible short squeeze or price volatility developing. And there is a handy, handy little diagram, which will be showing you A, the SLV price, which is very close to the silver price as it should be, and B, the borrow fee that had a big spike in September last year, that's the candlestick chart, super low vol, super boring, minor little bumps, minor little bumps, and then the available, the available, that's this, was eight, then kind of four. Uh, this is the volume I uh, would assess, and now a real collapse in the value there. As of 8, 28, 
23. Okay, so we've covered quite a bit of fundamental information. Let's go have a look at those charts uh, on silver itself. How does he look? How does he look? How does he look? So this head and shoulder just before we go to the silver, we've done it a lot, but that is a left shoulder over there for us. That was a blow-off head that was extreme of nature. You know that we hit 128 there. This has been a right shoulder. And we have said the early entry, the early bird gets the worm on the break here and the disorderly descent to here. That could then churn around a while before it does that. So join us for a ride. Use our links below. Be a pal. Help me help you. That's the game. I'm trying to make you wealthier. I'm trying to save you in reset times, in honest truth. Uh, in spite of you not having invested with me, I want you to win. I want you to win because people who win often are grateful, end up joining our community and very glad anyway, and sometimes need a little bit of help before they can get going. And I understand that because I've been on the bones of my ass uh, before. I know how it feels. So that's where it is. That's why it is. And here's where we're at. And this is what I expect. Your best case scenario to look like for the gold silver ratio so let's take it over to let's start with the, the rather more mundane and slab, somewhat tamer gold price gold is slowly rebuilding some steam so you may remember the primary technicals i'll give you a slightly less cluttered chart to deal with what did we say to you we said that 2009 low let's go 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 let's get some history um and let's go with the yeah, you're not got a history. You're no good. Where's the history? I'll have to go that one, friends. So here we had that thousands error. Mentioned it a couple of times, so I won't over egg it here. Big, big squeeze, major run. That was your 2007 8 lows. You went right down to 600s for gold there and now you have broken that thousand never to trade there again and now you are doing a three visits one two three one two three you had a big pullback here much less so now and I do assess that whilst that is a bit of a broadening structure, that's going to probably turn out to a descending megaphone on a bullish pole, which will lead to continuation to the upside after that upside HVF got us in there, which was that falling wedge that we took in. And the last key bull long moment that we took was there. And by the way, we were short oil and long that gold at the same time. That you know, because you can see the case study on our website, www.themarketsniper.com. Results, go and look, read it all, all the YouTubes, all the history is there. So that is where you are now. Maybe that pool is done. And when you next break 2K, apart from a revisit and a kiss of the line, you might trade a touch under. I don't see you ever once you've broken away from that trading below 2000 again next stop the doorstep of the 3k level i can see 2900 okay that's where that trade uh and that noise uh that we've made before about 2900 comes from and now you've waited it out for that potential eventuality it triggers when that is run for the fourth time so we need to see that alert get broken for the upside that is the end of that floor i think apart from a little technical revisit possibly after you've broken it momentum will return so if you have as we did the chinese mathematics with you before 2900 call it 3000 on gold and you first go to 65 um, on gold you'll be in and around the 46 mark and if you go all the way down to 30 uh, 32.8 and gold let's say gold is still only 3000 you're going to be closer to the hundred dollar mark a hundred dollar mark that's right so round about 46 uh, will be the next target 45 to uh, 50 range that has been for silver 
remember we're talking silver here we were, uh, as well as gold that has been for silver it's large three so you've seen those three touches here and at the 2009 uh, lows here and the subsequent break that occurred uh, July silver has a very similar situation and let's give that to you I've covered it uh, once or twice before as well but if you look at silver on a far bigger, six times larger, yes, six times larger, take half a year of time and stretch this baby out. This is your story. This is your story on silver, friends. So 45, roughly there, just below the 46 mark. As you can see, that is there and we see this move being as gold reasserts getting you up to there where after you will probably have a technical run and some form of a pullback for a wee bit before you go overall though setting up a squeeze against the legacy 45 to 50 dollar range the magical five dollar range that has yet to be breached way back even in 71 even in 77 even in 79 you never went anywhere past it we will be seeking to take out these highs as part and parcel the 2011 and the 1979 going to 80 highs for silver for which you will continue to run for the upside potentially for an extended period with the help of gold as your anchor so this is a bullish moment this could be a very bullish week for precious metals um, and i am francis hunt i came on to tell you all about it i hope you've enjoyed it hit the like remember the share book a call to join our community to get these first get the full hour 18 minutes worth all the detail in the charting more than what i just showed you there with everything i know about the individual hvf breakdowns and everything else plus get access to our amazing community uh, which is here for example and has numbers of very interesting setups lots of places to go lots of groups and more importantly about to get a nice facelift and made cleaner lines and faster as well we continue to invest in our own custom platform of privacy where the list is never sold or marketed to even at all and you can operate on a first name only basis in a community of like-minded building wealth securing and making safe that wealth as best as is humanly possible and seeing yourself to full-blown thrival through reset times non-traditional financial retirement period welcome you get a different end to your movie than everybody else and if you haven't realized that your script is different to the way it winds down to happy pension days and lovely peaceful days left alone by government uh, sitting on your porch and your veranda by the sea i'm here to tell you you are here because you can cope with it and not only can you cope with it you can thrive it you've been chosen to live this period out this is your experience make the goddamn most of it get on top of what you need to get on top of get organized get connected and start building wealth serious wealth and start maximizing your arbitrage plan of multitude of abodes protection foundations and everything else that we're happy to help you with okay that's it i'm done thank you have a good day